A viewer recently asked if it's okay to use other people's photos in your artwork. And while this video should not be considered legal advice because I am totally not a lawyer, <laughs> what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share mostly my opinion and a little bit also of my understanding of copyright law and just like what's kosher and what's not. So every now and then I like to tackle something like this. Mostly what I cover here on my channel has to do with painting and drawing and mostly portrait and figurative subject matter. Uh, but I like to also tackle just some of these other questions that my students have. And often this isn't something that I am focusing on in my classes. So I think it's really cool just to be able to put some of this other information out there that can be useful to my students. So if you enjoy this, please go ahead and give me a like. Let me know that I should keep making videos like this. And if you're interested in drawing and painting realistically, especially drawing and painting portraits and figures, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so that you'll be notified every time I release a new video. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Basically, my understanding of copyright law is that as soon as somebody takes a photograph, they automatically, they don't need to file paperwork, they don't need to register with some office somewhere, they just automatically own the copyright to that image. It doesn't matter if they took the picture with their phone and posted it on social media. It doesn't matter if they're a professional photographer or if they did the job for hire. Like if somebody takes your family photo, unless they have expressly given up their copyright or sold their copyright to the image, even if you paid them to take a photo of you and then they handed you a print of that photo, which you own, um, or any kind of situation like that, that photographer still owns the copyright to that photograph and you can't actually do anything with it. So if you take one of those photos, either something that you just found on Google or Instagram or an Olin Mills photo from the 90s that you had done with your family, possibly even family photos from like the 1900s, if they were taken by somebody else and not you and not somebody who has given you permission and then you do a painting from that photo, technically you're violating copyright law. Now, if you're only using a very small percentage of the image or if the image is only comprising, is that the right word? Is only making up a small part of your painting, you may not be violating copyright law because once there is a certain percentage that is new and only a small percentage that is from the original source photo, it's not considered a derivative work anymore. It's considered a new work with its own copyright. Exactly how much constitutes enough to be a new work, I'm not sure, but there's some kind of standard somewhere, I'm sure. Also, copyrighted photos can be used if it's deemed fair use. I'm going to go ahead and read from section 107 of copyright law, which states, the fair use of a copyrighted work, including such use by reproduction in copies or phone records, or by any other means specified by that section, for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarship or research is not an infringement of copyright law. Now again, exactly how to interpret that should probably be left up to lawyers and judges, but the way that I interpret that is if you're using this just for educational purposes or you're making some kind of a criticism or comment in your work, you might be able to claim fair use. That concludes the part of the video where I talk about what my understanding of copyright law is, and now I'm going to talk about my opinions as a professional artist. So number one, if you are copying a photo and your goal here is that you want to learn you want to educate yourself, you want to become a better painter, and you're just doing this for practice, 
for your own enjoyment. You're not going to exhibit the painting. You're not going to sell the painting. You're not going to use the painting to promote your own profession in some way or something like that. Then really there's no harm, no foul. It seems to me like it would be really difficult for somebody to come after you for violating copyright law when there's no money being made and there's no profit and there's no benefit. At least it wouldn't really make sense for somebody to go through the time, effort, and money to sue you over something like that. Now, if it's a big company um, and they have another reason, who knows? But I just really doubt that you know, a photograph of a landscape off Google images that you paint and you never show at a gallery or sell or anything is going to get you in trouble. I also personally don't see anything morally wrong with it. It just seems like a fine thing for me if you want to get a photo really from anywhere and then just for yourself draw or paint that photo you know, who cares? Especially if you're not claiming that it's your original idea when you're just doing it for your own enjoyment and your own education and you're not trying to steal somebody's idea and you're not trying to benefit yourself like professionally or financially from someone else's work, then to me it just seems fine. Now, if you do want the opportunity to exhibit a painting done from a photo or uh, you want to be able to sell it or further your own career using this photograph, I suggest just go ahead and ask the photographer for permission to paint their photo. If you found it on social media or something like that, just try and track down the photographer. Or if you found it on Google, do a reverse Google image search, try and find the original and contact the original owner of that photograph and just ask, hey, do you mind if I do a painting of your photograph? Maybe give them some information about why you want to paint their photograph or what you intend to do with the painting. And you never know, they might just be fine with it. I've actually seen this happen a lot. I've seen a bunch of different artists paint photographs uh, taken by other photographers that they found on social media or something like that. And I've seen artists you know do this in both the photographer or the person who took a selfie or whatever it might be are really happy and the person making the art is really happy and sometimes it's really led to big things for the artist as well so i've seen that work out just fine and i would like to share with you that i have seen the opposite i have seen really high level just like totally professional artists use people's photographs without their permission. And in fact, I saw a situation where an artist was using other people's photographs. They had not asked the photographer to use the photographs and um, they hadn't given credit either. And, you know, and then it came out and I saw it on social media. And whereas if they would have done the painting from the photo and it was someone else's photo and they said, hey, I was inspired by this person, blah, 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 it would have been fine. But seeing that they were kind of like on the down low about it, they didn't ask permission, they didn't give credit. As an artist, I just respected that person a little bit less. Maybe I'm a bit judgmental, I don't know, but I just feel like if somebody had taken that person's paintings and copied them and then started to sell them and use it to promote themselves, maybe that artist wouldn't have been too happy about it. I think most of us, you know, we work really hard and when somebody goes ahead and steals our idea and doesn't give us any credit, it can be really upsetting. So be that way towards other people too. Ask permission, give credit, uh, just do what you can and be honest about it. Now, if you, for whatever reason, can't acquire permission to paint this photo, if you can't track down where it originally came from and who originally took the photo or you're not getting a response when you ask for permission, whatever the reason is, if that's your situation and you're wanting to paint this photograph, ask yourself if it's worth putting in the time and effort to do the painting and later have repercussions for it. And I don't necessarily know that, you know, you would get sued for a million dollars necessarily, but just even think about the basic of maybe you put 
10 hours, 20 hours, however long into this painting or drawing, and then you exhibit it somewhere, somebody sees it's their photo, they get upset, blah, 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 and now you can't exhibit and you can't sell the painting. Even if that's the only consequence, would you feel like it's worth your time to put in the energy into creating this image with there being a slight risk for that happening in the future? Also ask yourself, you know, if you feel good about that outcome in your gut. I personally would say in this case, it's a better idea to really analyze what attracts you to this photo. What is it you like? Is it the mood? Is it the shapes? Is it the colors? And then find a way to create your own reference for that. That way you don't have to worry about copyright infringement and you know that you created this thing yourself. I want you to keep in mind that you don't actually need to be a good photographer in order to create good photo references for your work. Almost all of my photos totally suck that I work from. They're not interesting as photographs. No one would ever say they're an interesting photo, but I have enough information there in the photograph that I can create paintings and use more of my imagination and what I want to see in the image. Now, in my opinion, there are times that you don't need permission from someone to work from a photograph. Those instances, one I've already mentioned, and that's that you're only doing it for your own education and enjoyment. Another example when I don't think that you need permission is when you're just using the image for information. So for example, maybe you are uh, doing a painting and you want a night sky in the background but you don't actually have a night sky in front of you at the time, or your own reference image was taken indoors, and so there's not a night sky there. So maybe then you just go and you look at some pictures of a night sky, or even one image in particular, because you want to see what are the colors in the night sky, like what's the color at the top, and what's the color near the horizon, or maybe you just want a basic tree shape from some kind of an image, and so you're not really copying the photo, you're just like, oh, here are some colors, I'm going to put those colors in my painting as well. That's not violating copyright law as far as I can see. Another time is when the image only accounts for a very small section of your painting or a small area of your painting, or when you're only using a small area of the original photograph in your painting, you're not using the whole thing, or in some other way, shape, or form, what you're doing in your artwork would not be recognizable as the photograph. So I'm going to share with you an example where I used a photo reference without permission in one of my paintings. And hopefully I don't get in trouble for this. I don't think I should get in trouble for this because I just don't think there would be enough basis for me to get in trouble. But I am risking it all for you guys here today. So I have this painting that I did quite a while back and actually I'd made a YouTube video about that one. And it's kind of funny because I videotaped painting the whole thing and I struggled with that painting so much and I kept changing my mind about everything in it. But anyway, um, I did this painting and I used my own photo reference. Uh, so the model and the furniture was there. My studio was pretty plain. There were just like white walls and a gray floor and I had a lamp there but the lamp was um, really simple like it was just a white lampshade and uh, th there was a little bit of detail on the whatever you call it the stand part of it that was interesting but overall it was kind of boring and I wanted something fancier and with some more interesting details so I did a google search and looked for like beaded lamps um, I don't remember exactly what the Google search was, but I looked up some different lamps and I found a beaded lamp that I thought was pretty cool. And it was just like a, like a product image, you know, maybe it was like on overstock or something like that. So I found this image of a lamp that I liked and I just sort of, instead of painting the lamp that I had, I changed the shapes 
to be like the shapes and the embroidery pattern and the beading in the photo that I found online. So I'm using the lighting that was there in the room. I had the reference of the really simple lamp and the way that the glow kind of came through that and hit the wall and everything. But I used these shapes from the lamp that I found online. My reasoning for why this is okay is that A, the lamp takes up a small percentage of my painting. It's not the main subject. Uh, probably if we added all the space together, it would be like 7% that the image occupies out of my whole painting. I also wasn't exactly copying the photo itself, rather just the shapes in the photo. So I don't think that it would be recognizable to the photograph. So I don't think that anybody would recognize the photo. They might recognize the lamp, but I don't think they would recognize the photo. And finally, it was a photo of a product. So who's to say that I didn't just buy the lamp and then put it in my studio and then paint from a photograph that I took of the lamp? I don't think that there's really any way for you to tell that it was done from the photo, except that I just announced it on YouTube that I worked from the photo and not from the lamp that I bought and put in my studio. So hopefully I don't get in trouble for that. I don't think I will. But this is an example of where I have used a photo in my work without just simply copying an entire photograph. And so this would be, I think, an appropriate use without permission of a photograph. Finally, I'm going to tackle the idea of what do you do if you just can't make your photo references? So first of all, I just want to point out that this is going to be really limiting. If you can learn how to make your own photo references, and it doesn't take much, just takes whatever you have available on your phone and maybe a clamp lamp from somewhere. You just want to get good lighting. It doesn't really matter if it's a great photo, just so long as it has the information that you need in it. Um, but if for whatever reason you can't do that, there are places that you can look online and get free reference material for your work. So keep in mind this is not the same as royalty free. Uh, that's a different thing. I'm not able to explain it here, but you can find copyright free. That's what you really want to look for. Copyright free images um, on the internet that you can work from. I'll include some links uh, below for you if you're looking for free references, but just keep in mind too when you're looking for references that they may not really be what you need as an artist in terms of lighting and that kind of thing. So just be critical when you're looking for references because just because it's a really beautiful photograph doesn't mean it's a good reference for a painting. So there you have it. There's my professional, non-legal advice or opinions about working from other people's photographs. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I being like too narrow about this? I do think it's become really in vogue to just take other people's pictures and do whatever you want. I think there was even that artist who was like exhibiting just straight up people's Instagram photos. So like, I don't know, maybe I'm a bit old fashioned in my thinking, um, but I'm curious. Just let me know in the comments below what you think. And I'm also curious, have you ever found that somebody has like stolen your photo or your painting? Has anybody copied your work and not given you credit or permission? And how did you deal with that? And how did you feel about that? And as always, I just want to tell you that I really appreciate you watching my videos and sharing them with your friends. If you can, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me to have this community of like-minded people, and I hope to be providing something valuable to you with these videos. So until next time, happy painting.